How's it going guys? It's time for the 10th update of Forza Motorsport. As per usual, we're gonna take a deep dive into the whole update. I'll tell you all of the new cars, the new features, everything you need to know about the 10th update for Forza Motorsport and what we can expect next. It's not gotten too many cars this update. It's got quite a few new features though. Some are very high up on the suggestions hub, which is good to see. Let's take a deep dive into update 10, shall we? Now, before update 10 was actually announced, Turn 10 Studios over on Twitter put out a statement talking about how this is going to be released as the release of update 10 is going to be a bit different to how an update would usually release. It's going to be released in two phases. Starting today, this Wednesday, you'll be able to download the first part, which will have the new car, all the event content, minor improvements to some tracks, the new customization and some replay UI changes. We'll get to all that in a minute. This will be this will be followed by a second download, which hasn't been confirmed the timing yet, where the remaining stuff will be added, such as the proximity radar. I'm pretty sure will be in the second part rather than the first part. So take a read of this so you can get a gist of when everything's releasing. Let's talk about the update itself now. Forts Motorsport in Update 10 celebrates racing rivalries with Nemesis Month. In addition to new events across Korea, multiplayer and rivals as usual, Forts Motorsport Update 10 introduces car proximity radar and replay improvements, new aero rings, Aero rings, aero wings for select cars and recategorizes the Forza GT division in featured multiplayer. So there's lots of features and changes in this update as opposed to new cars. Let's take a quick look at the new changes and the new features. So a new proximity radar helps identify cars in your blind spots, making it easier to avoid unintentional collisions and keeping the racing clean, especially when using cockpit, hood or bumper cameras. This is great to see if I've got any images of this in action or what it looks like, I'll put it on. On screen but can only imagine it's very similar to the Gran Turismo 7 proximity radar. This I believe was the number one most top voted feature for this game and what have they done? They've gone and added it which is a fantastic sign for the future by the way that they've listened to the community and added the most voted feature great to see. You can enable and adjust options for the car proximity radar so it will have slight adjustments available in settings under gameplay and hood where you can choose the location of the proximity radar which works best for you. So that's awesome to see and they are also requesting any feedback on this proximity radar as well as it was a highly requested feature. They want to make sure that, we, that they've given us what we were asking for. Great to see. What else have we got? There are also improvements to saved replays. In this update, a replay includes a new vertical driver list to more easily select the car on focus and view gamer cards. A new track map with player positioning, HUD visibility options and navigation improvements for mouse and keyboard users if you're on PC. A major replay update will follow soon, adding dynamic updated race positions and data to the driver list, as well as a lap counter and new camera types. So they've got a complete replay overhaul coming soon, while this update has added a few tweaks, such as the ones I've just listed. I believe race replays was also quite high up on the suggestions list of wanted changes and fixes. So again, they've done a pretty good job at listening to what we want here. Additionally, the VRAM estimator in PC settings has been made more accurate. Accurate. This is more PC related stuff. I think most of my viewers are on console, so I'm not going to focus too much on the PC stuff, but there are some PC related fixes and changes there. In terms of game fixes and release notes, here is even more stuff that's been tinkered with and changed in this particular update. Um, there will be a lot more stuff fixed in this update, but we won't know until we get the full release notes, which should be later today various fixes for both console and PC. Now let's get to the rest of the update. Now we have some extra car customization. The Big Country Labs Aero Wing has been added as a customization option for 18 cars in the game. We've got some BMWs, a few Mitsubishis, a few Mazdas, lots of Nissans, Subaru and the Toyota Supra. Players can immediately install this Big Country Labs Wing onto any of the cars listed above as this is unlocked at car level one. So that is available basically right now if you go and load the game with the brand new update so who complains about more customization now onto the new tour nemesis tour in career mode the nemesis tour celebrates some of the most infamous automotive rivalries including rally rivals grand prix grudges the holy trinity and endurance legends so there's four different series in this new tour and we can see here a brief little paragraph explaining what each series is 
and what cars there are. Obviously, the most one that will probably stand out the most is the Holy Trinity with the LaFerrari, the Porsche 918 Spider, and the McLaren P1. That is one of the series. That is pretty cool. So within the Nemesis Tour, we have those four series. And the reward for completing all four of these series will be the 1998 Mercedes-Benz AMG CLK GTR. This is a new car to Forza Motorsport, but I don't believe it is new to Forza but it is one of the new cars for this update 10. Spotlight cars and VIP discounts. This is where some of the new cars are usually placed. Now, these are the spotlight cars for this particular month. As you can see, there are two per week, apart from the middle one where there's three, the McLaren, Porsche and Ferrari. Now, as far as I'm aware, I don't think any of these cars are new. So there aren't anything that stands out as new to Forza cars in the spotlight cars this, this, this month. As for VIP cars, as usual, VIP members get an exclusive discount on a load of cars for this month. We can see the list here, a couple of Subarus, Fords, uh, BMW and a Mercedes. That's it for the Spotlight cars and VIP cars. Now, as usual, we have a new open tour. Every update, it gets refreshed with new events and a new reward car. In this case, the new reward car for the open class tour this month is the Lamborghini 2008 Reventon or... I think it might be pronounced Rebenton for some reason, but nevertheless, that is another new car for this month. It's, there are six series within the Open Class Tour. All of them have to be completed before August the 14th to win that particular reward car. On to Featured Multiplayer, where there's actually been a few little changes. Over in free, Featured Multiplayer, we've made changes in the spirit of Nemesis Month. The Forza GT series has been split into GT2 and GT3 categories to make the racing more even and balanced. Forza GT2 and Forza GT3 spec series will rotate each week during Nemesis month and we will introduce a separate GT4 spec series in the next update. So that'll be update uh, 11, we'll see a GT4 spec series arrive. So over the next five weeks, Featured Multiplayer will also introduce three new spec series inspired by the automotive rivalries we mentioned earlier, German Rivals, Rally Rivals and the Holy Trinity, as well as two returning events as well, one of which is the Le Mans prototype spec series. We can see the Featured Multiplayer details here, what cars they are, all the dates and all the times and everything you'd want to know and all the appropriate information. On to Featured Rivals, Nemesis Month introduces a whole new calendar of rival events as usual. There are, there are a few special rivals events this month. You can race a Mobile One Pro Racing driver at Maple Valley. In this event, you'll get behind the wheel of the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. And if you beat Tony Stewart's fastest lap of 1 minute 57, you will receive an in-game Mobile One race suit. Another one where if you set your best time on the Nürburgring GTP circuit with the 2021 McLaren 620R, you will win a chance to win a trip to the IRL McLaren Technology Center courtesy of Logitech G. If you sign up to the Logitech G Discord, you can confirm your eligibility and if you will qualify for prizes. The top 16 registered drivers per region qualify for tournament races on August the 3rd to 4th. There's also a Gillette collaboration as well. Sharpen your gameplay and conquer the leaderboard in Gillette P1 program. Perfect your racing line in the 2018 Porsche 718 Cayman GTS and smoothly navigate the corners at Grand Oak Raceway. Raceway, sorry, to shave off crucial seconds in your lap, go to p1program.gillettegaming.com for registration rules and residency requirements. And we can see the gigantic list of different rivals events this month. There's there's quite a few them this month, all of the exclusive ones and the usual spotlight ones. What's next? Update 11. We'll see that update 11 will come with a new track and it will be available in new in mid-August. We've also got the GT4 spec series we've been promised as well. And we can maybe hope for more new cars in update 11 as well. There was definitely a lack of it in this particular month, but when we get an update like this where they've given us some big features like the proximity radar, um, replays changes, they've promised more replays changes soon as well. Naturally, their resources are gonna be pulled back a little bit from the new cars. So hopefully next month we get a load of new cars with the new track. I'm sure we'll wait and see. But that is everything for update 10, guys. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below, and I will see you all later.